This is the preliminary talk, and so I'm going to, and I'll have pilgrims guide with me, and I'm going to use the prayer starting it out. And let's see, um, and I don't have, I'm not going to use this, I might be returning this to you. I think it's Courtney. It's Courtney. Courtney. I'm sorry. I debated about using slides, but I, but I might have a slide with just Curcio up there. Um, and maybe I found a good one with a bunch of Catholic men sitting around the Curcio table. So maybe one of those. Okay. Welcome to the 2021 Men's Curcio. You know, let's take a moment to pray to the Holy Spirit as we gather together. At this point, I would say the prayer. It is normal at this time to be reserved, if not anxious, about participating in the Curcio. We come here at the prompting of many people and many reasons, due to a spouse or a good friend, a co-worker, or the testimony simply of other people. Yet it is un an unequaled opportunity to test and to learn our Catholic faith. You will be assured of one thing today. God wants you here. Put aside your duties, your responsibilities, and certainly any hesitation. You know, relax in the Lord and enjoy. Today is the day. You are in good hands here. His hands. So let me first introduce myself. My name is John Keenan. I'm the rector of the Curcio here. And with me today is also Jerry Carboni, who is the co-rector. Jerry is the point of contact for any outside, con help, con outside contact or help with logistics, and I'm here to serve you as well, to answer questions, and assist you in any way I can. Curcio was born in Spain in the early 1940s and introduced into the United States in 1957. The one thing that Curcio is, is an experience. It must be lived. Curseo means a short course in Spanish and is focused on the true faith, the Catholic faith that we all share. The objective is to find your authentic self in this experience and your happiness in this life and certainly in the next, in the next life in Christ. Curseo will aid you in the practical solutions to the problems you face today. True and lasting peace in this life is possible in Jesus Christ. To engage fully in the Curcio, be open to the truth presented here about your faith. Open your hearts and your minds towards these things of Christ. The opening to Christ must be by your will, by your decision. That ultimately leads to the fullness of Christ in your life with ideas and truth that will set your hearts on fire. While you are here at Curcio, be humble. There is where God will open up to you. Be sincere. Truth will set you free in sincerity. Do not pass judgment on your experience until the very end of the Curcio. Also, forget about what you have heard outside, and forget in so far as possible your prejudices and biases that we all bring with us. The Curcio experience is not suited for the immature, the insincere, or cowards. It is intended for the manly, with character and personality, and for those who are restless in for Christ, determined to live life and experience in this life, and certainly in the one to come. To allow the Curcio to impact you deeply, be open to grace, the primary source of goodness, righteousness, and fruits of the Holy Spirit from Almighty God. Be open to organization. All has been organized here in such a manner that it unfolds before you over the weekend and is ordered and organized to move smoothly, revealing to you the sweetness and reality of a friendship of life in Christ. You know, be open in cooperation with three things during this crusade. Idealism, self-surrender, and the spirit of divine charity. Idealism is obviously necessary in every human endeavor that is worthwhile, and every good adventure. Give your wholehearted attention to what is being said and the events surrounding each event this weekend. Self-surrender is the giving of yourself to God, to the Holy Spirit, so that He can speak and live with you during this time. There's plenty of time this weekend, 
Surrender yourself to the schedule, to the royals, to the prayers, to the holy sacrifice of the Mass, and to the fellowship of other men. Be aware that the schedule is tight. I ask for your cooperation so that we complete the retreat on a timely manner on this Sunday. Finally, the spirit of charity is a loving attitude of friendship. Christ calls us his friends if we abide in him and obey his commandments. He indeed is your friend. Share your love and your compassion for others. Respect deeply your neighbor's feelings, uniqueness, and personhood. And over the weekend, there are, there's time for laughter, fellowship, singing, eating, sharing, resting, and sleeping. There's prayer for study and action, and certainly for... Um, I kind of lost that there. When at prayer this weekend, let it go. Let go of your worldly trepidations, your anxieties. You'll be provided with a prayer book. We call it the Pilgrim's Guide. <clears throat> we'll hand that out presently. So we'll hand this out and give it one to everybody. At that point, I'll probably have somebody cooperate with me in handing it out. So during the remainder of the talk, they'll be able to flip through it. As the weekend proceeds, we will hear various royals from team members. Please pray particular attention as each one unfolds and a deep story is told about life, about Christ, and particularly is applied to your own life. The initial royal, what I call here the preliminary royal, introduces you to this process. The next one on the list is called the ideal royal, focused on a rational nature and examining ideas in our life. The next is called the lay person in the church, focusing on the lay people and the task of being a lay person in the church, after which proceeds the piety royal, giving focus of our faculties, on our full conversion to Christ. <clears throat> Focusing that gives way to piety and study and action. The next, obviously, is study, which is a focus on getting to know the truth, the use of our intelligence to become part of the Christian order and a worldview that reflects Christ himself. The action royal comes next. The consequence of being a Christian and thinking like one is Christian action. The next royal is called leaders, which is concentrated on learning how to the, how to be Christian the learning how the Christian transfers, <laughs> transformation of society by living our lives in grace and in right order. The royal called study is next. The study of the environment is next, and it's the examination of our personal and professional lives at home, work, school, and how we transform our personal environments in which we exist. One more after that is called the Christianity in Action, which putting this new Christian life you experience to resonate in your life and into the world about you. One of the last royals is, uh, is an addition is called the Carista Beyond the Curcio, which theme is to examine your own mission in this life and carry out that mission. And finally, the last one which I will deliver, which gives you the firm knowledge of how to live this weekend the remainder of your life in constant growth in Christ. Sprinkled throughout the weekend are meditations and prayers, Holy Mass, along with fellowship with each other in Christ. Let me tell you one of the reasons why I'm involved with Curcio. It is seems that I am a Catholic, I was raised a Catholic, I have the faith. That we know, but Curcio gave me a new focus, a new spiritual life that made purpose greater than ever I'd ever experienced. And that's why I participated. And I hope that you can experience that as well in this weekend. <clears throat> you know, your work this weekend is simple. Um, participate in dialogue. Listen carefully. Finally, put all of your worries aside again. Go, let go for this time. Now is the time to let this curseo unfold, to learn, to listen, to visit, and to know your faith. With God's grace, you will see here and experience its awesomeness as you face the next three days. You know, Curcio teaches that this life is worth living. Far for more than our salvation and that of our family, you will thoroughly enjoy and come this Sunday you will learn of Christ. You know, as the woman at the well said, or the people of the town told the woman at the well, it is no longer because of your words that we believe. For we have heard for ourselves and we know that Jesus is indeed 
the Savior of the world. Tonight you're asked to maintain silence, to facilitate reflection, and to have through Holy Mass tomorrow morning. Tonight we start with two meditations, the Way of the Cross and Night Prayer. Tomorrow we'll continue with morning prayer, meditation, and Holy Mass. This will conclude the time of silence. You know, in closing, again, the Crescio team welcomes you. Please keep your Pilgrim's Guide handy. And finally, please remind, I'm reminding you to maintain silence through tomorrow morning.